What's up, guys? Here on set with my, uh, I think you're gonna be my pretend girlfriend. I think so. Yeah, it's just Rachel. Hey, guys. Pretty cool. We auditioned together and we booked a gig together, so we're like each other's lucky charm. Yes. Yeah, so we're at the George R. Brown downtown Houston, but we're using one of their balconies, and I guess we're like gonna be using it as a pretend residential balcony, and uh, it looks really cool. I'll show you guys some footage here in a minute. But we're just waiting on the sun for the lighting to get right before we can shoot. So right now we're just getting some coffee and water and just killing some time. So I'll check back with you guys in this clip and show you guys some more of the set. Good morning, guys. I do apologize because after I recorded that last clip you just watched, I put my camera down and we were basically working for the next four and a half hours. It was a pretty cool setup though. Like I said in the previous clip, we had a, a balcony and it was set up as if that was a, like a residential, like I said, we lived there and they had like a dinner table set up. We had the grill. The product that we were promoting was a grill and we were basically making a scene to where a bunch of friends were grilling and having drinks and it was pretty cool, like I said, but yeah, we were we were on that set for a good four and a half hours, and you know, I'm not saying it's like hard physical work, but it is. It's work, guys. I mean, you, you, they're, they're saying, all right, look happy. Now we want you to pretend like you guys are having a conversation. Now pretend like you're cooking, and it's just constant being in position and making yourself look like you're doing a certain activity, and you have to constantly be smiling and looking happy for four and a half hours, <laughs> and it can get kind of it can get kind of tough. I'm not gonna lie, so. Modeling is not easy, I, I found that out. I found that out in the past, but especially yesterday. And I didn't get to have any coffee all day. Like, actually, when we were going to get coffee in that clip, the last clip you saw, that's what we were going to do. We were going to get coffee, and they came and grabbed us, like, hey, it's time to go, you don't have, we don't have time to wait. So I didn't get to have my coffee, and that doesn't matter, whatever. It was, but it was a cool day. It was a cool day, but I do apologize because I did not get a chance to get any kind of footage for you guys. And you know, I didn't want to be that dude like, hey guys, hold on, let me go set up my camera. So I just wanted to be a very cooperative and hardworking model. Does it, that even make sense? I don't know. But yeah, I'm still waking up. Right now it's about seven o'clock in the morning and I have a client in 30 minutes, so I'm getting ready to head out the door. Just got done packing all my breakfast stuff and all that. So I'll check back with you guys when I get to the gym. All right. There you go. Keep those shoulders down. Ten more. Perfect. There we go. Don't let your hips fall when you're going down. Keep them up. There we go. You already know, Friday, full body workout for me, or mostly all over upper body, but since I didn't work out yesterday because of the photo shoot, I'm doing a, everything, legs, arms, everything. That's my favorite day of the week because I get just to do all kinds of crazy stuff, so yeah, here comes the full body workout.
workout is finished. Got most of the sets that I did. Uh, left out a couple of movements that you guys didn't get to check out, but for the most part, that was the workout. We did three or four sets of everything. Rep range from 12 to 15. So have at it. Just kind of, it's basically a full body workout. There's a little bit of leg stuff in there, but mostly upper body. But yeah, now it's time to go eat. It is already one o'clock. Haven't eaten since eight o'clock this morning. I'm starving. I feel like I say that in every video, guys. I haven't eaten all day and I'm starving, right? That's what I'm always saying. Anyways, I'll check back with you guys in the next clip. Uh, maybe I'll show you what I'm gonna eat. It's always the same thing, but I'll show you anyways. So guys, I made it home and like I said in the previous clip, I always wind up eating pretty much the same thing for lunch, a chicken wrap with cheese and chipotle mayo and a little bit of pico on it. So this is what I'm eating. This is it. And I broke down and got a monster today, so yeah. Well, I'm going out to eat this evening with some friends, a really good restaurant. You guys know that I'm a really big foodie, so really looking forward to it. And like I said a few videos ago, whenever I go out and have a meal like that, essentially it's a cheat meal, so I only eat about half the day's macros. Uh, leading up to that meal to create enough room to where I can just kind of eat without having to worry about it Not counting or anything like that, but at least it, it just helps me helps my conscience when I'm eating I just know like well, I have a whole half day's worth of calories to Enjoy myself and if it goes over it goes over whatever, but at least it does a little bit of damage control So yeah, that's why I'm only eating this for lunch normally I would have like a bowl of fruit or uh, some, maybe some rice cakes with this so yeah, just having the wrap and that's it. So yeah, really looking forward to that. But my food's staring at me, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and uh, I'll check back with you guys in this clip. What's up guys? I'm really excited and really happy because I'm getting ready to go to dinner and have a fabulous meal. I don't get to dress up very often, so when I do dress up, I like to put a nice outfit on. So this is the, uh, the, the look for tonight. Got a striped scoop neck type shirt and um, double breasted blazer with some black jeans and boots. Anyways, um, I will check, well, I'll just talk to you guys tomorrow because uh, I'm gonna enjoy this meal and then my friends and I are probably gonna just hang out at the bar and just chit chat, whatever, enjoy the night. So I will see you guys tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday, got a full morning of clients. So I'll see you guys then. All right, see you in the next clip. Happy Monday, guys. How's your day going? Did you just answer that question? I hope you didn't because I can't hear you. But anyways, I hope your day is going as well as mine. It's been a great morning. Beautiful day outside. Got through training all my morning clients and now I'm on my way to what else? Go eat. I uh, didn't work out this morning after my morning clients like I normally do. That's because I'm gonna work out this afternoon because I have a, a pretty big break so I'm gonna be able to come back early enough to get my workout in. Yeah, so just thought I'd check in with you guys and let you guys know how my day is going. But stay tuned for the next clip because I'm going to go over the female transformation, the client spotlight that I told you guys about in my last video. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But other than that, guys, just enjoying life. Had a great weekend. Spent time with my family. Got to spend time with friends. And yeah, just uh, living life and loving life. But yeah, guys, here comes that next clip. Female transformation coming at you. All right guys, so client spotlight, say hello to my client Ruby. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen her picture, but I wanted to of course give her a shout out on my YouTube channel because I did promise you a female transformation pic, so here she is, say hello. Ruby has been working with me for about 10 weeks now. Well, it's been about 11 and a half weeks. By the time you're seeing this, it's been about 11 and a half weeks. The progress pictures that I just showed you, which are these, I'll show you them again. These are 10 weeks apart. So. Uh, when she started with me, she wasn't tracking what she was eating. She wasn't following any kind of structured eating plan or anything like that. So of course, the first thing I did was establish consistency in her diet to where she was eating the same amount of food every single day. And then we used that information over the next couple of weeks to determine how her body was going to respond to the nutrition that I started her off with. And then from there, I started to increase her intake and she continued to lose weight. So we just been increasing 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 and she just continues to drop weight so it's a pretty awesome story that now she's lost 20 pounds and she started out just above 1500 calories and now she's around 1900 calories so it's pretty awesome and she has is still losing weight actually I, i've continued to increase 
uh, her intake and she keeps on losing weight. So the plan with Ruby is to get her metabolism operating at a very high level in comparison to where she started. Um, so for example, probably around 2200 calories or so, definitely north of 2000 calories. We're going to get her metabolism handling that amount of food. And then once that happens, then to keep her losing body fat, we can either continue, keep her at maintenance or start to decrease and start a true fat cutting phase, which that's probably what we're going to do to keep her losing body fat. So uh, once that happens, she's going to continue to lose weight and just hopefully reach her goal physique. So congratulations, Ruby. I'm very, very proud of you. I know you're motivating many people out there to start watching what they eat and at least keeping track of what they're eating because guys, look, look what you can accomplish if you just commit yourself to your nutrition like Ruby did. And when Ruby came to me, she didn't know about counting macros. She had never done anything like that. So this is her first time ever working with the coach, which is pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad that she's learning flexible dieting and counting macros and learning, uh, you know, some sort of a normal way of sticking to a diet, not eating the same thing every single day and not being restricted to the same menu every day. So yeah, I'm really happy for her. But yeah, shout out to Ruby. Once again, congratulations, I'm very proud of you. And yeah, there you go guys, that's the client spotlight for this video. I'm thinking maybe in my next video, I'm gonna have a male client because I've had two females in a row, so the male client's probably next. Got plenty of them and I'll keep them coming, I promise guys. But all right, it's almost three o'clock. I gotta get back to the gym, hit a workout, and I'll see you guys in the next clip.